hello guys and welcome back to my kitchen so today we are making tamarind juice yes if you're a lover of tamarind just keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to share my videos please thank you so much and also i have another recipe of tamarind juice on my channel so feel free to check it out So for this recipe, all we're going to need is our tamarind, pineapple, and mint. That is it. And of, of course, sugar to your taste. So now I've washed my pineapple very well. So wash it very well because we want to use the skin, yes, to boil our tamarind, okay? So we're going to cut it, so peel it, remove the skin as I'm doing there, yeah? And all we're going to use here is the skin. That is it. So feel free to enjoy your pineapple <laughs> the way you like it. All we need here is the skin. So I'm going to put the skin in the pot. I'm going to add the tamarind in there. And I'm going to add the mint leaves in there as well. Add some water. And we're going to boil the whole thing together. So once it starts boiling, allow it to boil for about 10 minutes or so and that is it. After 10 minutes, just switch off the fire and allow it to cool down completely. We want the tamarind to soften so once that has happened, yes, after 10 minutes, you switch off the fire, you leave it to cool down completely. Once it's cooled down completely, we're going to remove the pineapple skin, yeah, like I did right there. Remove it and then use your hands and start you know uh, pressing start crushing the tamarind seeds very well so that we can get everything out of it and once that is done we are going to sieve the whole thing so i'm using a cheesecloth here so make sure you use something that is very thin a sieve that is very very thin because tamarind you can easily get some some of the pulp you know you can easily get it in there now if you don't mind it that's fine that's not a big deal anyways okay but yes if you do mind it just get a cheesecloth if you don't have a cheesecloth you can use a, a fabric like a pillowcase a clean one or a new one at least yeah a pillowcase or something like that that's very thin okay so what i did here i squeezed all the juice out now i'm getting my husband to pour some water inside it i just want to wash it a bit more because i believe there's still some something in there right so i'm just gonna wash it a bit more and get the remaining of the juice that's in the tamarind there and that is it guys that is it it's as simple and as quick as this yes that is it now we're just going to sweeten it the way we like it so if you can drink it without adding sugar then go ahead that will be perfect if not add some sugar to your taste that's completely fine you can add honey instead of sugar that's completely fine you can use cane sugar you can use brown sugar you can use white sugar i've had that question before that's why i'm just you know i'm explaining everything okay guys so once that is done that is it that is it now i'm going to have fun here there are many ways to enjoy your tamarind drink that's one of the ways get it in a bottle pour it in a bottle keep it in the fridge and drink it give it to your visitors and all that and now you can make some popsicles yes you can do that as well and which is what I am doing here and also you can put it in plastic bags like in Africa yes <laughs> the African way in a plastic bag freeze it and enjoy it it's hot yes we need some fresh freshness <laughs> we need something cold to cool down 
Yes, yeah, so let's keep watching guys. Okay guys, so for these plastic bags that you see there to wrap my popsicles, I've got, I got them from Amazon if you're interested, yes, because in my previews, uh, my other tamarind video, my other juice videos, people ask me about the plastic bags I use and all that. So for this particular one, I have it in my Amazon shop, my Amazon store. So the link is in the description box. If you're interested, just click on the link and it will take you right there. And you will find most of the things that I have in my kitchen. You have them, you see them there. Okay, guys. So this is it. All I'm going to do here is to put some in the plastic bags. Everything goes in the freezer and that is it. You have some fresh juice, homemade sugar controlled yes so there's not much sugar in there sugar controlled and very good very good and healthy for your kids and your whole family thank you so much guys for watching my video i hope you like it i hope you will try it thank you so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet don't forget to like the video to share and see you in my next video. Bye.